What's up, beautiful people? Did you know that you were supposed to soak your seeds before you plant them? <laughs> Just found out myself. Let me tell you more. <laughs> What's up, beautiful people? And welcome to another episode of Don't Keep Up With, Don't Keep, Don't Keep Up With The Joneses. Don't, don't keep up with the, don't keep up with the Joneses. Don't keep up with, don't keep, don't keep up with the Joneses. Don't, don't keep up with the, don't keep up with the Joneses. Woo! Yes, beautiful people. So. I found out that you are supposed to soak your seeds. Well, I won't say that you're supposed to because obviously I have and have gotten, you know, results that I was looking for. However, if you want to expedite the germinating process, you can soak your seeds, okay? And I want to give you three things to keep in mind, the reasons why you would like to soak your seeds, okay? Reason number one is because... Well, let me say this too. Not all seeds do you want to soak before planting. It's more of your big seeds like this here that you want to soak. Um, big pea slows. This is like a pea. A pea seed you do want to soak, okay? Your smaller seeds like your arugulas, your kale, your carrots, and things like that, you don't need to soak. You don't want to soak, okay? And the idea behind the soaking idea is that there's a thick layer of protein around the coating of the seed which when you soak it, it then breaks it down, which makes it more, you know, easy for it to do what it does, okay? That is all that it does, okay? Number two, you wanna do it for at least 24 hours, okay? I would say 12 to 24 hours, 24 hours just to make life so much better because if you do it anything less, then you won't get the results that you're looking for and if you do it anything more, I don't know. I don't know. I, I didn't research that long. But nonetheless, you do want to soak it for 24 hours. So I have some seeds here and you all saw the video where I did my plants or excuse me, my pea plant in the cocoa core in which one is already like taken off doing wonderful. I planted it. We'll do another video when I plant the other ones. And so not all of them germinated. OK, and that's another reason why I was like, man, what happened? Why didn't all of them germinate? It, it looks like, hey, it's the same seed. What's going on? And so tip number three. Here's a rule of thumb, okay? So I'm going to go ahead and put the seeds in the water and explain what I mean by rule number three. So, of course, yeah, there's dirt in this water. It's okay, it's all good. But nonetheless, I'm going to go ahead and drop the seeds in. I'm gonna probably do, ah, I'll do a handful. Nonetheless, I'm gonna drop them in. So the idea is that if the seed then floats back up to the top, the seed then lets you know automatically it is no good. It will not germinate. It will not grow. It will not do what it does. It will just go into the soil, go into the cocoa core, go into the medium in which you are growing your seed to germination and do nothing. Okay, so right now, none of them floated to the top at this moment. But hey, in a 24 hour time span, we may have some that do so. And if that is so, then hey, we already know. Don't plant those. Let me take it out of here. I'll put it back in there overnight. And you know, the temperature, all that good stuff, don't think too deep into it. You just wanna have water. You wanna have it in a stored place that doesn't have a lot of sun and all that good stuff because you don't wanna like scorch anything. But nonetheless, you just wanna let it go. Let it rest 24 hours, okay? And in 24 hours, you go ahead and plant it. Plant them where you want to plant it, whether it is directly in your raised bed, in your container, in your five gallon bucket, in your you know seed tray holder, any of those things, put it there and it will do what you want it to do in a time much faster than if you would if you did not soak it, okay? Now, when I say much faster, don't think record time, okay? It'll probably be about a five day gap between those that are soaked and those that are not soaked, okay? If you wanna see like an experiment on the difference between the two, smash that like button, I'll do that video for you. I don't mind doing it. If just hearing what I'm saying isn't all that registering, let me know, comment section, or smash the like button. I'll be sure to do that video for you to show you the difference between soaking your seeds and not soaking your seeds. And then two, I'll give a list of seeds that you do want to soak, as opposed to seeds that, you know, you really don't need to soak. But, you know, it's just like that. And yeah. I wanted to share that because, boo la la, I did not know, okay? You might have been like myself and did not know as well, and so now we both know. That's what we do on this channel, okay? So make sure you go ahead and subscribe if you're interested in pallet bills, wood bills, or gardening videos, and every now and then we sprinkle in a little family fun, and thank you. I thank you right now. I appreciate you, okay? You're helping us get to our goal of 100,000 subscribers by the end of 2021, okay? So, with that being said, I love you all. I thank you all. Happy gardening. 
nothing has holded to the top. So happy seeds, happy life, happy harvest. See you next time, beautiful people. Peace.